So, as you were just asked, I wanted to ask, how many of you here have tried out Chat GPT? That's good. Um, so that's partly what we're going to be talking about today. Some of the new tools that have developed that are very useful to us. So imagine bringing someone back from the 90s and then asking them to sit down in front of a modern computer. They're used to something like landlines and floppy disks, but I think what they're going to find is going to be astonishing to them. They're going to find ChatGPT. This is a conversational AI that is able to answer all of your questions. It's able to help you brainstorm. It can come up with recipes, draft complex documents. It's like a super smart friend who's always available to help you. Inside ChatGPT, they're going to find another tool called DALI. And inside DALI, all you have to do is put in a few sentences, and out of it comes a beautiful image or beautiful art. They might encounter another tool called Eleven Labs. And using Eleven Labs, you can generate lifelike, realistic human voices. You can tell beautiful stories, and it's eerily accurate. And then finally, they might encounter another tool called Suno AI. And what Suno AI helps you do is compose intricate music. It blends the creativity of humans with the ability for AI to invent and innovate. But the profound thing is that this is only the beginning. The next major milestone for AI development is called Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. This is a type of AI that can perform any intellectual task that a human can. It can generalize across many different subjects and solve problems very similar to how we solve problems as humans. Once we achieve AGI, it's likely that this could lead to a situation called an intelligence explosion. This is where these AIs are able to drastically and exponentially improve themselves. And this will eventually lead us to a situation where we will have something called a super intelligence. An AI that is drastically, by orders of magnitude, smarter and more intelligent than any human being or any groups of human beings put together. And a tool like this, a super intelligence, will actually help us to solve some of the problems which we've, been, we've had challenges grasping as humans. Things like, how do you cure cancer? How can you solve all the diseases or cure all the diseases? Uh, is it even possible for us to reverse climate change or augment ourselves as human beings? But it's also important for us to talk about and acknowledge the growing cognitive gap between those who have already embraced these tools and are using them on the day-to-day -day, and the people who are still on the fence and have not learned about them yet. The people who have not yet embraced them could slowly be left behind because the people who are using these tools could use it to generate wealth faster and more efficiently, leading to a situation where the richer could get richer and the poorer could be left behind. So in Africa specifically, the implications are profound. We could be able to use this technology to leapfrog traditional barriers to development, and provide millions of people with access to healthcare, education, and economic opportunities. For agriculture specifically, things like smart farming could help us to manage resources much more efficiently, predict weather, and we will be able to also help smallholder farmers. So it's also important for us to discuss one thing which I find very interesting as a result of, uh, as a result of AGI development. Uh, it could be possible for us through scientific advancements to drastically increase our lifespans. It's not about immortality in the traditional sense, but it's about using these tools to improve our lives. And through medical advancements, we might be able to slow down or even reverse the aging process. 
So another thing that's happening is that uh, with this automation, many people could end up losing their jobs. As AGI comes online and begins automating a lot of the work that people depend on. So it's going to be important for us to start thinking about safety nets for people so that we can all enjoy the benefits generated by automation. Universal basic income is this one idea. And Wildcoin is one possible way that we could achieve this. Wildcoin is a universal cryptocurrency that could allow people to receive wealth unconditionally, regardless of their background or income. It also provides a digital identity verification system, because when these intelligent AIs, human level and above human level AIs, start joining the internet and working with us, we're going to need a way to differentiate between humans and AIs. And this is one thing that Wildcoin provides. So, we're in a pivotal moment in history right now. These tools and technologies that we're developing have the capability of redefining what it means to be a human being, of drastically extending our lifespans, and creating a life of abundance and well-being. But it's up to us to harness and use these technologies Otherwise, we could get left behind in a world that is rapidly advancing. We also need to make sure that the benefits of these technologies apply to just to everyone and not just a select few. So in closing, the singularity, the point in time at which AI surpasses us as human beings. It's not just a distant concept or an event on the horizon. It's something that's happening right now. Thank you.